Hi everybody, welcome back. Now this is part two of our Bailey factory tour. Up to now we've seen the panels being created at the Bailey Large panel plant and they've all been now carried over to Bailey UK which is the spiritual home of Bailey caravans. Now this is the production line where all the components and all the parts come together to create a caravan that rolls off of the production line. So we start right at the beginning of the process and we see the very floors that we saw at the end of part one. The floors are stacked at the very beginning of the production line, where one by one they are brought forward and immediately work starts on all the fixtures that are required on the underside of the floor. The vents, gas drain down holes and all the wiring is fitted to the floor. The wiring loom is already preformed and it just requires fitting in place. Meanwhile the Alco chassis is prepared alongside the floor assembly and on this jig you can see the hitch, the chassis legs and the axle all coming together. You might be curious to know what the blue box is. Well, it's a laser etching tool that etches the vehicle chassis number onto the caravan chassis. From this point on, the caravan is tracked throughout the entire build process. Once the chassis has been formed, the axle is loaded onto the jig and bolted in place. You can see here the three production lines the chassis assembly, the floor assembly, and then finally the rolling production line. The finished floor and the chassis has all the wiring harness temporarily tied up as this will be used further down the production line. The caravan base is upside down and now needs to be flipped over. So a crane picks up the chassis, rotates it in place and places it on the floor ready to start its rapid growth over the next couple of hours. As it rolls onto the first station, the lino floor is applied and all the floor fixtures are added. Items like the battery box are screwed in place using a jig and you'll also notice that some structural bodywork has been added at this point too. The front chest is added and progress is quick. Already the front seats have been added, the spare wheel and the trimmer heating have now been added in as well. Pipe work for the heating, plumbing for the bathroom and kitchen are all connected up and the bundles of wiring are now being fed through to the correct locations on the caravan. While all the base work is being completed for the kitchen and the bathroom, you'll notice that the front bed slats have been fitted and the front seating area is now almost complete. On the next station, the fitted pipework is prepared for the addition of the kitchen and the bathroom units. These units are pre-assembled alongside the main production line. They are fed onto the main line on a just-in-time basis. The shower and one half of the kitchen area are loaded on first, and once in place, the fully lined shower is fed from the rear. This is what it means when you hear the phrase, a fully lined shower. The shower is in one piece. There's no mastic, there's no adhesive, and there's no sealant. The never-ending wiring is again fitted in place. In this instance, it's the rear of the main control panel and behind the fridge unit. Final assembly is taking place of the other half of the bathroom and kitchen. The cooker is already fitted in and is currently being secured in place. The unit is simply lifted in place and secured to the surrounding furniture and floor brackets. So this view gives a better view of the assembly lines. It shows how the units are built leading up to the main production line. It really is a busy place and progress is really quick on the build. In just a few steps, the majority of the internal structures are fixed in place. Back down on the production line, the rear island bed is secured to the back of the caravan. And the caravan is now rolled down to a turntable ready for the next stage. This is how the caravan is looking so far. The caravan now has its upright sections added and these include the overhead lockers and the wardrobes. Once done, it's rolled onto station 11 where the panels are added to the caravan. These sides have just arrived from the panel plant and are fitted straight onto the caravan. These sides provide the caravan with some much needed strength and you'll see how all this works in a moment. 
The caravan sides are roughly placed on the floor and while it's held in place, the captive nuts are run through the floor and into the side panel. Meanwhile, the panel and the internal furniture are bolted in place. The strength doesn't come from this, the strength is the Alutech system that all comes together once the roof section is added. Right now the rear panel and the rear roof section are added on. Again it's bolted into the floor and you'll notice that the panel is completely flat at this point. Removing the two bracing brackets allows the panel to fold over where the panel has some relief cuts cut in. The beginning of the outer joints can now be added between the rear panel and the sides. Careful attention is paid here to make sure that everything is square. Looking down this section of the production line you can see progress is still very rapid. Along with the internal items being fixed in place and finished off, the exterior work continues at a fast pace. The production line here moves each caravan to each station along a conveyor. Right now this caravan is arriving to have its roof and front panel added on. Again you can see that the front is completely straight and using bracing bars while the roof is aligned above the caravan shell. The roof is adjusted to fit correctly in the channel and is aligned so that all the bolts line up. Sealant is added at the end of the panel and the roof strap is secured in place. A point worth noting here is since the Unicorn Series 4, this roof strap has been completely redesigned to make it easier to install and prevent alignment issues. Once installed, the caravan now moves on to the next station, where all the front central windows and the door are installed. Window rubbers are installed, ready to receive two side windows, and more internal fixtures are secured in place. It's very difficult for me to film inside the caravans as there is minimal space and these guys work really quickly. Now, on station 15, the front panels and the sides are bonded together. This process has already taken place on the roof, but here I can show you exactly what happens. First, the panels are prepared with adhesive and sealant, ready to receive the awning rail. Separately, the awning rail is prepared with bolts, sealant strip, and is then finished off with a layer of adhesive. The rail is then carefully added onto the caravan, making sure that all the bolts line up correctly. Rather than just relying on the sealant and adhesive, those bolts are tightened up against brackets that locate in the roof and the sides of the caravan. All the bolts are tightened up to a specific torque and you can see how tight it is by the amount of sealant that is forced out of the joint. This is the fundamentals of the Alutech system. Next, the front panel is prepared ready for installation. Sealant is added where the grab handles bolt through the panel and the lower moulding is placed temporarily while the fixings for the grab handles are secured. While this continues, even more internal fixtures are being added. This time the shower screen is being prepared and installed into the caravan. Shelves, TV outlets and pelmets are finished off in the bedroom, meanwhile outside the rear panel and light clusters are being installed. Towards the end of this line the brackets are installed ready for the windows before the caravan is slid across onto the next stage, where all the caravan services and features are tested. This includes the water, gas and electrics, along with the battery charger and road lights. The windows have finally installed and now the production line moves back in the opposite direction towards the end of the line. The external graphics are applied to the caravan and using a template the correct position of the decals are marked and applied.
The caravan now looks complete, but there are still jobs to do inside, including the trim for the shelves and the cupboards. The final step is the internal furniture. The caravan is pulled into position into daylight so the external of the caravan can be overseen by the quality control team. Inside the curtains, fabric and seating are added to the caravan while the carpets are stowed away under the bed. The floor of the caravan is vacuumed up ready for dispatch and once the quality control team have stepped inside the caravan and checked that everything is in place and signed off, the caravan is rolled off the production line and into the dispatch area ready to be sent to a dealer near you. And there we go, that's it. This thing here, a finished Phoenix 640. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and I hope you've seen the insight into how a caravan is constructed from the Bailey production line. For me, it was a real eye-opener and I thoroughly enjoyed my time down there and I thoroughly enjoyed seeing the insights of how these caravans are actually built. So a huge thank you to Bailey and a special thank you to Simon for allowing me to film in and around the factory. It's not easy because as you can imagine, it's a working environment. And so I was a little bit disruptive as I was walking through the factory, but nonetheless, a huge thank you. And I really appreciate it. Of course, this video isn't sponsored or endorsed by Bailey, but I was just very privileged and very honored to be invited down to film the factory floor. So if you like these videos, why not hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon as well to be kept up to speed when we upload a new video. And until the next time, guys, very much thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye bye now.